If you like Facebook enough to want to own a piece of the company, then today was your day. Many already have, with 82 million Facebook shares trading in the first 30 seconds this morning. But just because you can buy Facebook stock doesn't mean you should, or should you? News Channel 8's Peter Bernard asked the experts. From the Menlo Park headquarters of Facebook, surrounded by employees, founder Mark Zuckerberg rang the opening bell of the NASDAQ market. With the signing of his name, Facebook became a public company, and many in this crowd became instant millionaires. If you want to cash in on the Facebook gravy train, buying its stock could be the answer. But wait. With Facebook, with any IPO, be very careful. The man with the buzzkill is certified financial planner Curtis Chambers. He warns Facebook, but like many other IPOs, could be a flop. There have been numerous studies on IPOs that have shown that they are not very good to buy when you're buying as a public investor. And that's what you'd be if you bought shares now. He says his clients have been asking about Facebook for the past few weeks in anticipation of Friday's sale. Investors are looking for something. They're looking for the next big thing. They always are. And they're looking for something exciting. And Facebook is exciting. Right. So it can be really tempting to jump in there. Yeah. Some IPOs have taken off. Google is one. But others have gone bearish after the newness wears off, especially when Facebook owners are allowed to sell shares they've owned for a long time before before Friday's sale. And so often with IPOs after three months uh, or six months, we'll see this price start to drop. So if you don't want to be red-faced over your Facebook purchase, Chambers advises you consider holding off for now. While it's exciting and good for some people, doesn't mean that buying the common stock on the market uh, now is necessarily going to yield big returns. In Clearwater, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8. Facebook started at $38 a share, shot up to $42 after the, tr the trading began, and then it kind of slid back down to $38.23 at the close. 579 million shares of Facebook were traded on NASDAQ today. That is a record for an IPO, but just selling those shares, by the way, made Facebook worth a jaw-dropping $105 billion.